Lesson 4, Basic Object Selection. We're going to practice using the Object Outliner and the mouse and the keyboard to select various objects from the default scene. We will see how the Object Properties in the Buttons window changes depending on the selection. And finally we will change the lamp colour and produce a quick render. We're going to start off with the default scene. The three objects are the cube, the lamp, and the camera. Each can be selected by right-clicking one after the other. In the buttons window, in the object tab, as you select each object you'll see that it has a sensible name. Normally if you're producing a complex scene you'll have quite a large number of objects and it's a good idea to to give each object a meaningful name. So if this was a crate then call it as a crate. In addition to the name of the object, we can also see the location, rotation and scale. And uh, we can, for example, we can lock the coordinates so that we can restrict the movement. And that can be very useful once you've got some work established. Now, the outliner up above here gives another way of selecting each of the objects, the camera, the lamp and the crate. So you've got two ways of selecting, either by right-clicking with the mouse or using the object outliner. As you select each object, you'll notice that there is a context-sensitive tab in the buttons window. And what this displays will vary depending on the object which is selected. So for the camera, we can change such, such things as the focal length. And uh, for the lamp, we can change th such things as the colour or the intensity of the lamp. If we switch back to the camera, tab in the buttons window, we can use this to produce a quick final render. And uh, hovering over the tab there we can see pressing F12 or clicking on render will produce a render from the camera's point of view. And if you remember uh, from a previous lesson you can press 0 to see what the camera will observe. So we can press F12, get a render, and then to get out of the render we can just press escape to go back. So let's change the lamp colour and we'll see what effect that has. I'll change the colour to something orange and then re-render and we get an immediate effect.